Hello traders, the time has come for me to share one of my weekly trading plans with you. This week we are going to look at the Euro Japanese Yen currency pair. And as usual, we are going to start from the weekly time frame, uh, define uh, the resistances, support levels, etc., and uh, make uh, future predictions uh, of the price movement. Also, we will comment there. Uh, where do we stand now? After that, we'll go down to the daily time frame uh, where we are going to uh, talk a little bit about the waves there. Uh, again, where the price is currently at uh, and what possible target levels we can look for. And uh, we'll finish the trading plan on the H4 time frame. Again, talking a little bit about uh, <clears throat> the current price section and what to expect in the, uh, by the end of the week. Uh, live signals will be posted on this trading plan on our Twitter page. And from today, uh, we have created a uh, Telegram channel where again, we will post the live signals from those trading plans we share with you, but also we are going to post live signals uh, from our own uh, library of trades. Uh, those will be trades we take, uh, so and the signals will be available only into that channel. So join us now from the link below this video. Let's get started. What you can see now on the screen is the weekly time frame of the Euro Japanese yen currency pair. And I want to say a few things here. First of all, uh, here we had a range formation for around, uh, let's see how long it was, like three months. Uh, and this range formation uh, usually is expected to uh, work as a resistance or support area in the future. Uh, we can safely say that actually this can be a monthly resistance, not only a weekly one. The monthly resistance usually stops weekly trends and you know, uh, so on and so on. Weekly trends, stop, uh, weekly resistances or support stop daily trends. So uh, after this uh, range was formed here, we saw a wave up and then a quick strong wave down, which uh, broke the previous top the price made on the uh, weekly time frame, which was here. Confirming that after a very, very, very long uptrend, uh, the pair is ready to enter into a downtrend stage. After this wave, uh, we can see that we had a small correction here, which ended exactly in that area. Let me mark that, you can see here, and a new uh, downtrend was formed. Now the price is uh, very close to that area, so my expectations are to see a bounce from here and a new wave down, and that's what I'll be looking for. Uh, what else on the daily time frame? Actually, this is the most important thing, so we'll be looking for sell opportunities. Now, going down to the daily time frame, a very important thing here, first of all, is uh, this daily area of consolidation. Um, it is inside of the weekly resistance area. And as you can see over here, uh, the buyers and sellers, uh, actually the market, uh, failed to choose a direction. Uh, one day it was bullish, the next day it was bearish. And uh, at the end, it uh, decided that it will be bearish. As you can see, a huge uh, downtrend wave followed. Now, my expectations are for this daily area of consolidation to act as a, a daily resistance inside of the weekly resistance. Uh, so this daily resistance is expected to stop H4 trends. 
Now, uh, as you can see, I have marked this daily support area as our first target. Uh, I want to talk about it a little bit. Uh, starting from here, we had a wave up, then we had a wave down, a small uptrend here, then a huge uh, down wave here, another uptrend wave here, small correction, small wave up, another wave down. Here, as you can see, the price remains again in a range. Here we had a wave up, then a small correction, and this wave we are currently in. Now, as you can see on uh, numerous occasions, this area here and here, even actually here, acted as a support area before being broken. Then after the price retraced to it, uh, it sort of acted as a resistance, although the price went above it. Uh, and when it went back below it, we can see here and here how it acted as a resistance. Here also the price remained inside of it for a few days before uh, going for a new uptrend wave. That is why my expectations are if the price forms a new downtrend wave from this area, uh, it will reach somewhere here, then we'll probably have a correction before a new wave down, hopefully reaching to the uh, weekly support area, which is our long-term target. Uh, on the daily time frame, if we switch on the 200 SMA indicator, an interesting thing here to notice is that currently uh, the current uh, candle is touching the indicator line. Usually uh, this line acts as a support or resistance uh, level. Of course, not always, but uh, Sometimes, like 50 or 60% of the time it happens, so it is good uh, to notice that uh, because this might be a double confirmation for the upcoming downtrend wave. Uh, the first is that the price reached this monthly resistance area or weekly and also that on the daily time frame we reached this uh, daily area of consolidation which is a daily resistance area inside of the weekly resistance area. Now going down to the H4, turn that on, okay. So here we can see that we had a huge wave up with uh, very small corrections. Now if we mark that uh, waves, you can see that here we had an uptrend wave followed by a correction, another uptrend wave followed by a correction, and another uptrend wave. Now, if we talk a little bit about Elliott wave theory, uh, we can safely say that we already have uh, one cycle completed. So we have three impulse waves and two correction waves, meaning that uh, we should be expecting either a zigzag formation here like that, so sort of a range or consolidation and then a new uh, downtrend to be formed uh, of course, there is a chance for a direct downtrend, but it is uh, less likely than the other scenario. Now here on the H4, uh, there are a few approaches you can take. Uh, the first one is to wait for a possible engulfing on the current or the next candle and enter there. Uh, of course, this is a more riskier approach. I'm going to explain why. As you can see, the end of wave three is here. So this is the previous stop uh, the price made. 
and we can notice that here the price failed to retrace below it and continued for uh, a little bit more of an uptrend. Now, if you wait, uh, if you enter uh, somewhere here after the engulfing happens and put your stop loss here, uh, there is a big chance if the zigzag scenario occurs for the price to bounce off the previous top here and retrace back hitting your stop loss. So a more safer approach here would be to wait for the price to break the previous top so break this uh, line and then you can look for sell opportunities. Of course, if you're going down to the lower time frames, make sure to mark uh, also the H4 uh, possible stoppage areas uh, where your targets will be. So this would be one of them. Uh, I think that's all. We'll see how the plan will unfold. Uh, I will update you with live signals, as I said, on the on our Twitter page and also uh, on our Telegram channel, uh, where you will also receive uh, other uh, recommendations or proposals for trades, uh, and those will be trades we take. Uh, we will include there both long-term trades and short-term day trades. So join the channel. Uh, I'll post the trading plan on TradingView and in the description I will write uh, the zones in numbers uh, so it's easier for you to navigate. And of course I will also write a short fundamental analysis and what we can expect on the economic front uh, by the end of this week. I wish everyone a profitable week and I'll see you next week. Bye for now.